Hello, and welcome back to another Daily Top 10's Top 10 video. Staying in a hotel can be anything, from the ultimate luxury filled with infinity pools and towels folded into ostriches, to a windowless box where the cockroaches are the only thing keeping the bed warm. But even the best, most expensive places hide many dirty little secrets. The fluffy white towels and the complimentary mints are a magician's misdirections, so you don't look too carefully at what you're actually getting for your money. So today, we're looking at the con of the concierge and the deception at reception. It's the top 10 things that hotel staff don't want you to know. Number 10. Deaths People die in hotel rooms, like, a lot. There are extreme cases like the Cecile Hotel in LA, now called Stay on Main, that had a student found floating in the water tank, was home to serial killer Richard Ramirez, had an unsolved murder and at least three suicides. Not every hotel is like this, of course, and it's hard to get exact figures, but it's likely each averages one a year and a much higher rate in larger big city hotels. So after police have got what they needed, the cleaners spruce it up and it's back in business. From six feet under to six floor sea view in just a few hours. There's obviously some suicide cases, but there's also a higher risk of heart attacks since, let's be honest, hotels are all about overdoing it whether it's food, booze, or even bedroom athletics. Number nine, lower rates. Planning a holiday on the internet starts out as exciting, but suddenly, five hours later, you have so many tabs open, you need a professional librarian to organize them. You realize you've spent the whole evening comparing and hunting, and you've managed to save yourself $8 if you fly via Greenland and check in at 3 a.m. The thing is though, you should just book directly with the hotel and you'll get better rates and they'll treat you as a priority. But they love the so-called deal websites since it's free marketing and they only have to deal with you when you finally arrive. Also, if you call, you can just ask for a better rate. The deal site can't do this, but the guy on reception sure can. There may even be rooms free when the deal site says they're sold out. Number 8. Never wash the bedspread. You know that spread that looks so soft and inviting when you first open the door? Laid like a perfect layer of icing across the bed? Yeah, don't touch that. The hotel will wash the sheets and pillowcases, but that thing is staying right where it is. You know how much we all hate changing that cover in our own homes. It's like being mauled by a weak ghost. Well, cleaners feel that way too. It's way too time consuming. So the sheet is there to act as a thin barrier between you and that cotton no man's land of invisible stains and liquids. Number seven, housekeepers are paid per room. Although it would be wonderful if the housekeepers buffed the windows with rose petals and washed the welcome mat in spring water and antelope tears. But there is one key motivation to how they clean the rooms, and that, unsurprisingly, is money. Rather than just clocking in and out at their shift times, housekeepers are paid for how many rooms they clean incentivizing them to do a fast job rather than a thorough one. That means that it's all about appearance rather than the cleanliness. So those glasses are not as sparkly as you think they are. Number six, staff can key bomb you. Don't be rude to the staff. 
Partly because, well, don't be rude to anyone for a start. But the hotel staff will meet your bad behavior with a smile while silently plotting revenge. This can take many forms, from slowing down your service to calling your room in the middle of the night and blaming it on another guest. Another classic is called key bombing, where you make your way all the way up to the 20th floor only to find your key card no longer works and you have to go all the way back to the reception where they will apologize for the inconvenience, but you'll see in their eyes that they did it on purpose. Number five, they want you to take the toiletries. That's why they brand them. If you think you're a criminal mastermind when you've smuggled out the remaining teaspoon of shower gel in the hotel bottle, well, Moriarty, I have news for you. They want you to take it. The big hotels brand everything in the room for a reason. If anyone back home sees your fancy products, they'll ask where you got them and voila, you're suddenly a salesman for the hotel. Number four, concierge may take commission on recommended restaurants, bars, etc. If you want to venture out of the hotel to get some dinner or have a drink and see the local area, you might go ask the concierge to give you advice on where to go. The thing is, even if you tell them you're into Iranian barbecue and death metal, they're still going to send you to the same place they send everyone else, as they get a commission for each customer they get through the doors there. Unfortunately, your only other option is using Google and relying on the opinions of the general public, which is never advisable. Number three, never pay for the minibar. Dispute it and it'll get canceled. Hotels like to keep up the myth that they somehow magically know if you've touched the minibar and will charge you $15 for just smelling the peanuts. But working out an itemized list of everything you've used is a big inconvenience. So if you dispute the minibar bill, it will probably get canceled, even if you're still swigging that tiny bottle of Moet right in their faces. Wer Premiumpreise erzielen will, muss schon etwas Besonderes bieten. Er muss zum Beispiel am richtigen Ort sein, genau im richtigen Moment. Number two, securities not that tight. One doorman and a keycard does not make your hotel Fort Knox. Any stranger off the street could wander into the hotels and make their way up to the rooms without any trouble. And those key cards are less secure than a traditional key. Past guests can walk off with a card that may or may not be canceled. And even among the present cards, some will open multiple doors, not just the one they're coded for. And as for breakfast, well, make sure you have a lot of pockets. That's all I'm saying. Number one, hotels make a killing. Even though they're huge buildings filled with staff 24 hours a day and a basement full of fancy branded cutlery, hotels still make an enormous amount of money. In the US, the average cost to run a room is about $40 a night including all the energy bills and the staff needed for cleaning and various services. So everything on top of that is pure profit. And when you realize that some places house a thousand guests a night, you see how quickly the money rolls in. Thanks for watching another Daily Top 10's Top 10 video. And remember, it's our duty to entertain and yours to subscribe. Subscribe to Elhi Talks Fans.